Do archers really counter flyers? This is something that is technically true in terms of mechanics, but in terms of actual gameplay, I don't think it's the case. I think this is true in most Fire Emblem games, where you can run a lot of flyers if you just know how to play around enemy archers or know how to like attack positions. So in this case, I have two fronts. I have a semi-closed southern front and then a kind of open northern front where straggling enemies are kind of filing in to get attacked by the bulk of my team, while the other part of my team sits here with Lucina and just tanks. Uh, but that being said, flyers tend to be very fast, and with Lucina, avoiding getting doubled lends itself well to tanking. And also, if you use Lin on a unit like Ivy, she can get kills. So, for example, I can like actively attack this archer right here. And because I hit him first and he's already pretty much dead, I can just kill him outright. He's taken damage from attacking her. Because he doesn't double, she tanks with Lucina. Now she has more speed, so she's even harder to double. And as we can see, the only thing that could have doubled her was this, when she was at 28 starting speed, but she's life taker and a bunch of enemies. And we just use Bonded Shield. Uh, but does Archer actually get countered by bows? I don't think this is the case. Hungry. And the reason I don't think this is the case is there's so many tools in most Fire Emblem games to deal with archers and to deal with things that threaten your flyers that you can usually bypass the downsides of a flyer while experiencing the upsides of high mobility, being able to fly over terrain, uh, being able to set up easy attacks and get critical kills. So right here, I have Cantor Plus, so I can kill this guy. He's 11 hit, so he should miss. And he hits, but <laughs> he hits somehow. <laughs> but that'll happen. And we just need to either obstruct or body block this. And what I can do, something like this. Stance my main unit. Now one of the crazy things about flyers in this game is that they can use stabs. So being able to just obstruct a tile, being able to fly over terrain, these are all huge upsides that I think a lot of people are undervaluing. I'm getting a lot of comments of people saying, why do you run so many flyers? And honestly, they're really good. They're really good for rushing bosses. They're really good for setting up like warp combos. I run seven flyers total, <laughs> which is a lot, but they're very strong in my opinion. Uh, Alright, so as for the archers thing, I think it can be managed. I think if you know what you're doing, you can really manage it. Here, let's do this. Let's do Dragon Vein. Vein of Flame. She can just set this up and just keep spamming these. Now, a lot of people like to use Corin for her, like on a dragon type unit. I made a Lyra Flyer because it's just flexible and on certain maps it allows you to just like straight up break the map. Now there is like a solid argument to use Corrin like plus a dragon. Uh, there is another dragon type unit you get, I won't spoil who it is. So the Leer isn't the only dragon type unit and that unit is best on a default dragon class. So it's not the end of the world if you can't use you know dragon type things on certain emblems. Uh, right now, my Lear doesn't have, like, the best engage abilities. It's just like Marth. Like, Marth is decent. But there's better things, for sure. Now, that's, that's like, more of the argument of should you make a Lear a flyer. Um, honestly, I think it's nice. I actually prefer it. I think, I think on average, it makes the unit more powerful. Oh, cool, they're rerouting, so now I, I don't have to defend the back as much. All right, so we have one more turn of this tanking, and then we have to, like, break out and start like killing them all. But flyers are good at tanking. Like I don't see the downside really. There's really, as far as I can tell, if you can manage their weakness, which is just like some specific units, there's really like no downside and they're they're insanely strong. Oh, what? Oh wait, is that even lethal? Okay, I, I just think he just was able to deal damage so he took it. That guy just suicided. Ivy is particularly insane with Lin. So many enemies are physically tanky. 
and she just puts so much good damage out. Oh, and then Marin's getting power level. This is a good way to power level a unit. They avoid the center because it has insane avoid with Lucina. They like to they like to attack Ivy too because the AI calculates it having high damage, and then when the tanking kicks in, it does no damage. So it's very similar to Triangle Strategy's Death Ball. Uh, but to wrap up, I would say there's really not much of a downside to flying units. If you know how to play them well, there's always warp, there's rewarp. There's so many ways to get in and out of positions that it's absolutely crazy. So, all right, we're out of tanking, but we should have enough damage to kill them all. So, yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful or interesting. Feel free to drop a comment, such as Marin is cool. And, yeah, see you next time.